Assalamualaikum. Hi, my name is Faiz. I'm a tourism management student from Innovative International College. So today, I will introduce to you guys about our tour project class assignment, which is a travel magazine. So this assignment is a substitute assignment for the original one, which is an excursion to anywhere inside Malaysia. But because of the current pandemic situation, the excursion that the class had already planned need to be cancelled and replaced with the travel magazine project. So the magazine is divided into six sections, which are the first one is foods, second one is activities or attractions, the third one is culture, the fourth one is festival or mice, the fifth one is the travel tips, and this and the last one is suggested itinerary or and also packages. So each section will cover their specific theme for countries all around the world. So uh, next, so each representative from each section will summarize the content to you guys. Thank you. Uh, hello everyone. So today I will be talking about the foods for the travel magazine. Uh, the foods that me and my team choose is one of them is Turkey. The Turkish cuisine is largely the heritage of the Ottoman cuisine, can be defined as a fusion and refine of Central Asian, Middle Asian, Eastern European and Balkan cuisine. The Turkish cuisine varies across the country. The cooking of Istanbul, Bursa, Izmir and the rest of the Asia Minor. The specialties name sometimes include that of a city or region either in or outside of Turkey and may refer to the specific technique or ingredient used in that area. This of the type of food that they have in Turkey. Next we go to Brazil food which is the street food. Almost more than any other country, the food scene in Brazil is a culinary melting pot, matching influence from all over the place. Brazil also famous for the spot, for example, football, jiu-jitsu, and samba. The ingredient and tradition from as far afield as Africa, Japan, and Portugal intermingle with the native landscape of coastline, farmland, mountains, and jungles to create a wonderful mismatch that is often best seen and taste right out on the street. The world famous Rio Carnival is a perfect example of all elements of Brazil, which is the rich culture and heritage celebrated throughout the city with food, drink, dance and music play. Equal parts in this all encompassing celebration. For the street food that they, they have in Brazil are uh, pastel de cuello, Brazilian chicken cocina, the Brazilian feijoada. These are the type of street food that they have they have in Brazil. Next we move on to Singapore which is also the street food of Singapore. The Lion City isn't just home to the famous Merlion and Marina Bay Sand, aside from its unique architecture and beautiful tourism spot. The country is also a place that offers variety of dishes and it's allow yourself to explore and delve into the rich culture for the country by experiencing its cuisine. These dishes will definitely make you feel like you have traveled to another country and would even take you to a land of history. Singapore also have been recognized as the world best city for street food obsessed travelers in 2019 by the CEO World Magazine. 
as we see in this table we have single okay for next we have the laksa among the list of heritage local food stall in Singapore Sungai Rok Laksa is uh, well known among Laksa local next we have the bakute we will talk about the Singapore most iconic dishes and bakute or pork rib soup will come to mind and as a reminder the bakute is a non-halal dish so the muslim is not allowed to have this dish the next one we have the hyannis chicken rice the most famous chicken rice stall in Singapore is probably Tian Tian chicken rice Maxwell food center but it is probably seeing more tourists than local in its queue nowadays and lastly we move on to the traditional food in Japan Japanese food is one of the most popular cuisine in the world and for a good reason it is based on the rule of five traditional Japanese cooking or washoku emphasize variety and balance this is achieved through the use of five colors which is black, white, red, yellow and green the five cooking technique raw food, grilling steaming, boiling, and frying and the uh, five flavors which is the sweet, spicy, salty, sour, and bitter this principle can be found even in a single meal or uh, one soup and three side pay with rice with its aesthetic of beautifully present food and the use of fresh high quality seasonal ingredients it is no wonder that Japan cuisine is so delicious and so highly prized by people around the world. Here is some of the food today in Japan. We have sushi. We have yokitori. And they have sake. for today so thank you very much and before that I would like to I would like to thank to my fellow teammates to give their best effort in making this travel magazine for food done so my teammates are Raha Olivia Zoom and myself so that is all for today thank you We will be going to the land of the rising sun, the land of four seasons where you can see the rarest phenomenon of the sakura. And there will be historical destinations too, such as a fantastic Japanese castle, and also the temples and the beautiful monuments. Now, I will bring you to the land of fire and ice, where you can see the beautiful aurora borealis and also the beautiful ice cave, which is one of the rarest glacier in the whole wide world. You can also experience one of the most 
spectacular hot spring in this country called Iceland. Next, we would like to invite you to Slovenia, a country where you can enjoy all these beautiful sceneries and also these cultural and historical values such as the castles and the historical valleys and villages and also you can enjoy a sip of magnificent wine. Istanbul is one of the most cosmopolitan cities in the world, while the majority of the population are Muslims, and it's a mix of cultures and background fused together in one city. It has a mix of Jewish, Greek, and Armenian population, and it is a city where one can truly experience Middle Eastern and Western culture all at once. From fashionable boutiques of Nisantani, to the mansion of the covered bazaar, this busy city is home to many people from very diverse background and with the commonality of its rich history. The Turkish geography makes it wonderful blend of people and places. Magnificent scenery along the Bofors has drawn people from the ancient world to the contemporary Istanbul both compromising the European and Asian sides of the history. And to fully experience Istanbul takes a lifetime, as there are many cities, there are many corners, nooks and crannies that demands to be experienced. There are many things, many interesting things about the Turkish culture since it has a lot of influence from the Roman and Greek empire from its past. And so here are the some of the unique culture and tradition practiced among the Turkish people. The Turkish, they love to celebrate and emphasize a common expressions applied to many daily or special events and occasion. Should a friend fall ill, the response should be dismiss all soon, which means get well soon. Enter into a shop and you may he hear the saying of Hoskel Denis, which means welcome. The list goes on, but the good news is the foreigner in the Turkish are quite relaxed if you are visiting the country. Learning a few sayings and you a great respect. And then beside that, the Nazar Bonkugu, also known as the Evil Eye, is in direct disbelief of Islamic tradition and is known as Evil Eye in the office, homes, in transport and business. The Turkish believe that these talisman words of evil and these days, as well as featuring uh, heavily in Turkish culture, it is one of the top recommended souvenirs to buy while in Turkey. So one of the culture in Turkish people is their hospitality. Turkish are so hospitable and often invite newfound friends around the house for a dinner party. Visitors are given slippers so they can leave their house their shoes at the door and copies amount of food and will be offered of which is rude to refuse. Other than that, Turkish people love their tea and coffee. The national drink is uh, tea served in black tulip shaped glass and sweetened with sugar according to the drinker preference. Other than that, it is their food. Food is an integral part of Turkish society. Each meal is a gift from Allah to joy and not waste, so Turkish women often spend hours in the kitchen with painstaking and intense recipes. 
breakfast is the most important meal of the day, typically including eggs, cucumber, tomatoes, and olives, but never forget the bread. It's either breakfast or other meal times. It is a staple part of Turks diet and sold in masses across the country. Some Turks are even refused to eat down to a meal without it. So bread is important. While we're at it, let's not forget about the Turkish rugs and carpet. In every Turkish home, carpets and rugs sit proudly on the floors with elaboration, decoration, and handmade carpet have also become popular holiday souvenir. China Tibetan culture. China is a unified multi-ethnic country and as a lovely member of the big family, Tibetan has always been a close contact with other ethnic groups. Two thousand of years of mutual absorption and promotion, Tibetan have developed their own splendid culture like a shining peel in the world and as the local costume like we all know different people have different local costume and habits there are no exception for tibetans and they have created various form of entertainment to amuse themselves like doing sporty side singing and dancing and the sporty side of tibet is first one is archery and this is very popular sport that is played even during today in modern Tibet. This sport has been inspired by the art of hunting and there are many contests and challenges held every year in the sport of archery. The unique aspect of the archery in Tibet which sets them aside from the world is the particular type of arrows used in the event and these arrows are said to be whistled as they cut across the air and when shot from the bow. This is one of the famous festivals held in Grassland of Tibet and here's the actual archers are expected to compete and shoot target. There are various subcontents held which are short range shooting range roll, long range shooting and there are various subcontents held which are short range shooting long range shooting and shooting when on a horse so the second one would be wrestling and as all as it times get in tibet it is dated back to the times when people wrestle without any weapon as well Wrestling was used as means to close combat battle between tribes facing internal and external conflict. Various matches and tournaments are held annually throughout the length and breadth of the country as to find the national's best wrestler. So for the festival, according to Tibetan calendar, Tibetan festival, large and small, long and short, fall on every month aiming to worship gods comrade buddhist master pray for good harvest entertain themselves and so on based on festive content all sort of celebration this tibetan culture can be roughly divided into two groups which are traditional festival and religious festival as for the Tibetan arts, while traveling in Tibet, we can find the art shrines everywhere. Golden monasteries on hills, stone and rocks carving in the desert and cliffs, fluttering pledges, flags around lakes and passes, ancient kingdom on the mountain top, colorful frescoes and tanka inside the temple, singing and dancing all over the grassland and in a word where there is a tibetan there is a tibetan art so japan pronounced in japanese as nippon on first country is japan second country is japan uh, vietnam japan pronounced in is japanese Indonesia. as nippon or nihon and, and the last one is a island nation in mainland asia 
it is comprised of approximately 6,900 islands. The most prominent and populous islands are Honshu, Hokkaido, Shikoku, and Kyushu, making up 97% of the country. Language The national language is Japanese, which is the primary spoken language across the country. All Japanese or Kanbun originated from China and the earliest Japanese text, the Kojiki, was written in the early 8th century and was written primarily in ancient Chinese characters. Modern Japanese developed during the Edo period between 1603 and 1868. Modern Japanese consists of three alphabets, which is kanji, hiragana, and katakana. The development of widespread use katakana is illustrative of Japan's recent adoption of Western culture, ideas, and words. Early Japanese culture was heavily influenced by China. During the Edo area, Japan exercised a strict isolationist policy closing its door to all relationship with the outside world. This cultivated to a distinct Japanese culture. After the fall of that era in 1868, Japan reversed this practice, adopting cultural practice from all over the world, mixing with what was established during the Edo area. Over the year, Western culture has influenced all aspects of Japanese culture, including art, lifestyles, and food. Religion There are two main religions in Japan, Shinto and Buddhism. Shinto is a Japanese religion, while Buddhism was imported in the 6th century from China. So, for the Japanese cuisine, Across the nation, Japanese are primarily fish eaters. Japan is the number one fish importer in the world, consuming around 12% of the world's caught fish. The most well-known Japanese dish is probably a sushi, a dish that includes fresh fish. The most well-known Japanese dish is probably a sushi, a dish that includes fresh fish, seaweed, and lightly seasoned rice. Japanese also eat beef, poultry, and pork as part of their daily diets. So today my group, uh, we present about festival for the magazine. So the magazine is written by Shamil Eli Arif Emina. So uh, for the first country for this magazine is Canada, so which is top tier festival. So the first one is Ma uh, Montreal Chess Festival, uh, which is is known as a Montreal International Jazz Festival, uh, and it will be held at Quebec, Canada. Okay, and the second one is the X. Uh, the S is the short way of referring to the Canada uh, Canadian National Exhibitions and uh, festival held 18 days straight uh, with full with exhibitions promoting technology agri agriculture and diversity of Canada so the last one festival top three in Canada is Falkorama uh, Fakurama is a great Canada multicultural society, security, and the diversity, uh, diversity of people, uh, of the people in Canada. So the second second country, uh, for our festival magazine is Spain. So the first one is San Fermin, uh, or we call it as Pam Pamplona, Pamplona. Right, uh, it will have it will be held in Pablom Pablona city and it will held the date 
other event is a week in in early July. So the second one is Tomatina Tomato Vibe. Um uh so for the event we have at the town of Puno. Uh it's near to Valencia in Spain and the date for the event is twenty sixth August. Uh, the third event in Spain is the Semana Grande Bilbao. So, um, the Israel is quite important event, and it will be the most important event of the year. Uh, it will have for nine days straight. Uh, the event schedule for this year is. 20, uh, 23rd and 30th April. So the third one is the April Fair of Civil. Mm. Uh, it is the event uh, uh, this fair is light starts with the traditional lighting of the with the entrance of the fairgrounds and the event we had at the midnight. Um and then the city will fill with the entertain entertainment colors and the best of the Andalusian art. So the last one even uh festival in Spain is a more for food and arts festival. Um uh, the event we held on twenty sixth and the twenty eighth October in this year. Um, and then it is the it is about art in Marius a more for a fruits and art festival that you need to attend. So so the third country for our festival magazine is Bonito Festival in Brazil. So, uh, so the Bonito is means wonderful in Portuguese, uh, which is the uh, uh, Brazilian language, right? They use Portuguese, uh, and then the first one is carnival. So, carnival, uh, we have a February anti March, okay, and it also known as the Brazilian carnival. So the second one is Festa Junina. So Festa Junina is known as Festa de Sojo. Uh, and they will have the event or uh, the Festa in June and July. The third one is Pumba Mui Boy, uh, which is this is the typical Brazilian festival with the Asian folk Asian folklore in the country. So they have Start behind the festivals, so it will be held in 30, 30 June. And the last country for festival event, uh, festival magazine is Pita Card, which is the ghost festival in Thailand. So, uh, the event is street district with colorful costume mask and more uh, and it uh, even we had in the weekend of the lunar calendar 6 full moon okay so the last one is song crime water festival is a very famous and a lot of um, international tourists come to the event uh, and the event is about shoot, uh, shoot people with Hose pipes, water gun, buckets, and alarmo, and the event we have uh, every uh, in the middle of April every year. So that's all from us. Thank you. So hi, my name is Amira. I'm from the traveling tip section. So in this section, me and my team consists of uh, Pravin. Nadira and also Lilian Chai, we work together in order to share a few of the important tips that people need to do before they actually went for travel. So what we have in this section is just some of the general tips that could be applied by the people and also we add up some 
senior tips just to add more fun content uh, into this section. The first tip is to not wear any flashy jewellery and to keep your valuables with you while you're on the move. And the other one is uh, to get travel insurance. This is very important because you don't know what gonna happen to you while you're traveling. And also to always be prepared with emergency cash because in case you're getting robbed while you're traveling, you have the cash to survive before you getting help from your family member. And on the fun part, we prepared the readers some of the silly tips to save money during travel. First, don't buy any book that offer money saving travel because the book itself uh, is expensive, it's not worth it. The second one can be applied when your pocket are empty but you still need a place to stay. So instead of going for hotels, just sleep on a bench, park bench or maybe bus stop floor and then if you are on the diet while traveling, try to survive yourself with only cup noodle the entire trip. And if you're near ocean, you can save money for shower because you don't need to pay for the shower. You just can swim on the sea and also you are closer to the nature. So I think that's all from this section. Thank you. Hi, my name is Umi Nur Atira and my group mate consists of Faiz Najmi, Nur Zaila, Nur Isa and Francisca Luna. We work together to come up with some itineraries for the readers to refer if they want to travel to this place. To sum it all, our itineraries consist of 5 different countries which is Turkey, Vietnam, Japan and Bali, Indonesia. The first one is Turkey. We choose Cappadocia and Istanbul. Here visitors can experience the hot air balloon and the food tour. Second country is Vietnam. The place we choose to cover in the itinerary is Hanoi, Ho Chi Minh and Tian Chun. At Tian Chun, visitors can experience the colorful light that is inside the cave and then enter into it. The third one is Japan. We choose to do a 5 day and 4 night winter tour for Japan which we put Sapporo Kokusai Ski Resort and Jozanki Onsen Hot Spring as one of many places in Japan for winter. People can go for skin and hot spring of the choose in this itinerary. The last one is Bali, Indonesia. Here the place that we will cover in the itinerary is Ubud Coffee Plantation, Tegalalang Rice Terrace and Pendawa Beach for the beach and to sis. I think that's all for me for the itinerary session. Thank you.